Hi and welcome to Winners Corner. Our trip this Saturday goes to Orby Racetrack in Gothenburg. And uh, we have, of course, a great V75 round to look forward to with great Swedish championship races because uh, there's loads of them. We have the Swedish championship for amateur drivers, for youth drivers, for apprentice drivers. Uh, we have the Swedish championship for mares, for Monte horses. And of course, the main Swedish championship in the gold division uh, where we get to see Prida Merik winner Ridley Express, Harry. What do you look forward to the most now with this race day? Well, I really look forward to seeing Ridley Express. Uh, he's uh, got his crown a little tilted in the last two races, but what a fantastic horse. And, uh, you know, every time you see a world beater, uh, you've got to actually uh, appreciate that you're so lucky. Ridley Express is one of those special horses that you only see once or twice in two, three decades. And Ridley Express on Saturday is going to be fabulous to watch. Very well then, but we start for now in race five, which equals the first leg in the V75 round. It's a very open, long distance race, 2,640 meters, circular start. And uh, how do you want to open up this race day now? Yeah, I, I feel that uh, I'm called the show king. Uh, I think I've got uh, justified uh, results in my show bets. And I've chosen Great King Wine. And I hope you're all going to lift your glasses and uh, congratulate me. Uh, a really capable uh, uh, in this company. Uh, Stefan Söderquist, a fantastic driver I like very, very much. And I think uh, uh, he's got a very, very good chance of, of being in the first three and giving us a good payout to start the day, two and a half, three times the money. And I think that's really, uh, yeah, stealing candy from children. So we start off there with a show bet in race five on horse number 13, Great King Wine. Moving on to race six, we have the Swedish Championship for Amateur Drivers. And uh, who's the best driver in this field, according yeah, to Yeah, I think uh, number 11's uh, driver, uh, Mercedes Baloch, is by far and away, for me at any rate, uh, the best driver. Most experienced, a very capable uh, driver. And uh, as I say, she's on a really, really good horse. Not the best of draws, number 11, uh, Omer and flax and uh, we see uh, Mercedes Baloch here and uh, really uh, <laughs> can you see any problem here she's she's literally just pulling away from the field if she wanted to she could win by another 10 meters uh, definitely uh, one of the two horses in my quinella that I've suggested and I've taken uh, what I think it could possibly be uh, uh, the best horse in the race and uh, that's number nine and uh, that's none other than Everest Sisu uh, who again Elizabeth Lindblom is by no means a bad uh, or <laughs> she, she's a pretty good driver uh, but uh, as I say uh, I liked what I saw this time out she fought all the way to the line and you can see even the victory celebration there so no doubt about it 9 and 11 for me in the quinella and uh, hopefully we're back in the payout queue so a great quinella suggestion there in race six horses nine and eleven turning the page now to race seven we find the swedish championship in monte and a clear favorite we have here in number five julio deluxe ridden by our best monte driver sofia adolfsson and you also think that this is the winning couple Yes, I do, even although I've heard uh, commentaries uh, outside of the uh, studio that uh, uh, there's a better horse in the race. Uh, I'm telling you right now, Julia Deluxe is going to be in the winner's circle. She's got the best uh, uh, Monte rider in Sweden, an absolute uh, fantastic fantastic talented uh, Sophie Ardilsson and uh, even although Sophie apparently sounds uh, not so uh, positive I can tell you right now they've been aiming for this race and Julia Deluxe is just going to spread eagle I'm sorry about that order by facts they get it Time will tell, Harry. Uh, we have the <laughs> win bet here from you in this uh, seventh race uh, in number five, Julio Deluxe. The Daily Double we have in races 10 and 11 this Saturday. And DD1 is the Swedish championship for youths. And, youths. and here we have, he's not very inexperienced, he's a very experienced uh, driver, Kevin Oskarsson uh, with number nine, Parkview. Are they a reliable banker here? Uh, yeah, I think uh, Parkview definitely a good draw and Kevin Oskarsson definitely one of the leading apprentices in Sweden. This is a, a driver that's going to be uh, right up there as one of the 
best drivers in Sweden. And when you say the best drivers in Sweden, we're talking about the best in the world. Uh, he also goes down to Germany on Sunday, so this is a bit of an hors d'oeuvre for him. And I think it would be rather nice for him to win uh, with uh, Parkview. And uh, I, I sincerely think that uh, he will do it. And uh, uh, then we have, uh, as I say, the great world star, Ridley Express, in that uh, Final leg, so Parkview, my, my my definite winner in the first leg of the double and second leg of the double, no question about it, Ridley Express. And that means that we have one single combination for the daily double this Saturday. Now, let's move on to the V75 round. And this Saturday, it holds quite a few big favourites. Uh, but as you know, um, Orbi Racetrack, it might look simple from the beginning, but in the end, it turns out to be quite difficult. However, though, Harry, it has been some very low payouts for seven corrects in these last Saturdays. What do you think about uh, this round? I think... Uh I feel that it's very favourite orientated. It, it can with a couple of upsets, and you can see I've taken a few horses in the uh, several races. Um, but, uh, you know, with my two bankers there, well, I can't see us actually missing the uh, V75 on Saturday. Let's hope one of the two of the outsiders come in in the first, second, and uh, possibly sixth race, and uh, we'll have uh, a pretty good payout. Mm. We've talked about all but two races, and let's talk a little bit about them. Uh, the fourth leg is a Swedish championship race for apprentice drivers, and you uh, you mark the three most trusted ones. Are you, any comments on that? Uh, Apologise. Uh, you mark the three most trusted horses in the apprentice drive in the fourth leg. Any in, comments in, on that? In the fourth race, yes. uh, yeah. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's a very open race. Uh, we've got some uh, pretty good horses. Smokey Herman from draw one is a definite candidate to take the lead. We then have Athos Race, which I really was impressed uh, with from the Orca Lindblom stable. And uh, then I've topped it up with uh, number nine, uh, Global uh, Raceway. Uh, I, I think we're fairly well covered in that race and, and uh, I think it's definitely going to be somewhere between one and two at any rate. In the fifth leg, we have uh, the Swedish Championship for Mares and number two, Cash Crow, is a clear favourite. How come that you want to back her up with number one, a dear friend, and a number 11, Dolly Moraz? Well, uh, we've got fabulous to say. We've got so phenomenally good fillies in Sweden. And uh, I, I think that Stefan Passion's Darling Miras has really, really shown how good she is. She beat actually Cash Crow uh, last time out. But Cash Crow, uh, for me, has been a long time the number one filly in Sweden. Uh, Petri Puro's uh, filly is uh, world class. And she needed that race last time out. And uh, as I say, we, I've put in three horses in the V75 only because I've got two really good bankers. And, uh, uh, you know, if, if uh, Cash Crow loses, well, well, I'm not going to be asked by Darling Miras or number one dear friend. Uh, they're both very, very good fillies. But uh, for me, Cash Crow is definitely the, the number one choice. And this all sums up to now 1,080 combination for the V75 system this Saturday. SwedishHorseRacing.com is, uh, of course, our website, and there you find additional information about Swedish trotting and horse betting. And with that, we wish you the best of luck with your bets this Saturday to Orbe Racetrack. Bye-bye.